Okay, so with this one, it's really uh, just about cutting out the horse, and the goal is to get the mane and the tail so that it looks nice and soft when we cut it out. We're going to use a different way of selecting than we've done before, and this one is selecting with a mask. Um, you guys might have noticed already that the little symbol down here is the same one that's down on the bottom of your layer panel for add new mask, and they work kind of the same, um, but this one is, uh, it doesn't really put it on the layer. It actually just lets you do it straight from the toolbar. So what we're going to do is click it, and now it's going to let us use black and white paint to select the horse. So to select the horse, we're going to use black, and then to uh, get out of that, we'll go into, or to erase it, we'll go to white. So you're going to go, and you're just going to start painting on the horse. Now notice it's showing up pink. That is just, I guess, so that you can tell you're selecting. And uh, the original reason it was pink is because in the, in the graphic design industry, they use this film to mask out things. And the cam when the camera shoots, it you know, doesn't uh, shoot those areas. And uh, so this is like that film. It's like a ruby lith film. And that's why they showed it pink. What's your question? Um, mine's still black. Is it? It's the normal. Uh, so, so set your brush so that the fuzziness slider, I would say maybe have it in the 70s. And you could go 100% for your opacity and flow. And then just start painting. And one thing around the edges, you can shift click to do edges. Uh, let me kind of show that. I'm going to click and then I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to go to the next place I want to go, maybe here. And notice how it'll make straight lines. So that's kind of a, a nice way to outline shift clicking. It kind of makes it more like the polygonal lasso actually. And I would usually just go around the outside edge first and then you can you know, kind of quickly do the middle parts. So this is selecting using a painted mask. And it's kind of, you know, time consuming, to be honest. So I don't use it all that often because of that. But one thing that's good about it is you can grab with with gray and you can have kind of a lighter selection, you know, a transparent selection. So I'm just shift clicking all the way around this ho this horse. I'm keeping the shift button selected the whole time and where I want a straight line I'm just clicking. Or you can just free freehand paint it too. Now once you have it all the way around, you could even paint bucket fill it if you wanted. So I could go to where my gradient tool was and I could choose paint bucket and then I could paint bucket fill but it, it is leaving lines so I would have to go back and I'd have to touch those up. So I use a bigger brush and I'll just paint it all so that I don't have miss, missing pieces of this horse.
So when you guys are doing your mythological creatures, you know, you're probably going to have some animals that might have flowy hair or fuzzy hair. So this would be one thing you could do is to paint in your selection and use a mask. So this, this method of using masks existed before layer masks did. This used to be the only way to do it. It's a bit more primitive, I think, than the layer mask. But just so you can see how it works so you know what that button does. Now once you're done, you like your selection, then you click out of the mask like so. And you'll see that it makes the selection. The one thing it does do, though, if you go and hit delete, um, I'm going to unlock my background first, actually. If I just go and hit delete, it's going to cut the background of the horse, which I don't actually want to do yet. I want to refine the selection. So don't do that. We're going to actually inverse the selection. And uh, to do that, we're going to go here, select, inverse, so that it uh, grabs the inverse of it. To have that selection inversed, then we're going to actually clean up the selection by refining it. So we're going to go to select, and we're going to choose refine edge. And let's look at our selection. Um, let's try looking at it on black, maybe. So you can choose, you know, and you can view it in a few different things. You could look at an overlay, which was like the mask. You can look at on black, on white. Uh, I'm choosing black at the moment just because since the horse was on kind of a, a sky blue, it wasn't all that dark. Now we're going to refine the edge, and we're going to use Smart Radius, and then raise the Radius button up to let it move towards the horse. From there, you can use a brush here. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to kind of go over some of the mane, just trying to get the computer to do an even better job of seeing that edge. So mane and tail areas. You might want to just kind of go across it so that it hopefully grabs it better. Right across the horse's muzzle on his nose, you might find that it's not grabbing that all that well just because that, ed that edge wasn't really all that good. So go across. And you can go the opposite way if it's, you know, look, looks like it's grabbed too much and it will put back. And that's the eraser. So don't think that you're erasing part of the horse. You're basically erasing part of the selection. So you're removing from the selection. So if you need to do that, try that out. And you know, just like the color replacement brush, it's the crosshair in the middle of the brush is sampling. So you want to uh, control where you paint that. I think your selection's pretty good, right? Uh, then you and you can actually also feather if you want to feather a little more. You can adjust shift the edge in if you need to. Um, and then when you output this time, instead of outputting just to a new layer, Let's try out putting to a new layer with mask, just to check that out. Because now you guys know what layer masks are. And notice what you have here now. You've got your horse cut out, but the original picture still exists here. And then you have a mask. And so wherever the white is, the horse is showing. Wherever the black is, the horse is not showing. If you see a part of your horse that doesn't look good, that's maybe missing, you're going to want to click into the mask, right? And then you're going to paint white 
in those areas. And I've got on my horse, a little part of his leg is missing and then right around his chest seems like there's some pixels missing. So I'm just going to go in with white and I'm going to put those back. Because remember on a mask, white paint will put back. Now I might want to soften my brush a little more because mine was actually pretty hard. And that way it's not going to look so abrupt. So that's just a way to retouch using paint. So just go in and fix up any pieces of the horse that are missing. And that's all this exercise really was. It was, you know, knowing how to use the quick mask option and knowing how to refine the edge. And then once you output it to a mask, making even some better refinements to it. Once you have it cut out so that you really like it, um, you're done. Save it, name it, exercise 11, remember last name, first name, and you're good to go.